months after an IT team investigation left a local property manager facing criminal charges, another tenant has come forward with complaints. NBC10 IT team reporter Tamara Sikarzik spoke to a woman who says she was recently forced out of a home she was renting from him. The I team has been reporting on property manager Chris Pianca since 2016. Records show he rents out foreclosed homes that are tied up in litigation by entering into agreements with their owners while they challenge the mortgage holder in court. If the court case is lost, the tenant loses their home. But in the meantime, Pianca makes money off the properties. Is it Chris Pianca in there? I hear a voice. I have some questions about a property on Flat River Road. A woman says you scammed her. Nobody at Chris Pianca's house would come to the door to answer our questions after a Coventry woman claims he misled her while renting out this home on Flat River Road. Well, obviously, you think because he turns that key and opens that door, they own that property. I guess that wasn't the case this time around. Juanita Suzo moved into that house in early 2021. I was told it was supposed to be a rent to own um, type thing, but there was something going on with the bank and after I could purchase the property in a year. But court records tell a different story. A bank had foreclosed on the property on February 16th of 2021. The following week, Suzo entered into a lease agreement with Pianca. You knew the property was under pending litigation when you signed it, but you were under the assumption that that was going to clear up and you could purchase it. Yes, I didn't know it was a foreclosed property. Documents obtained by the I team show Pianca collected dozens of rent checks from Suzo. In February of 2022, she applied for rent relief using his name as a landlord. Is That's when she learned the truth. Right? They told me that he wasn't the landlord nor the property owner and the house was foreclosed on. The deed had already been transferred to the bank, but Suzo was still paying Pianca yes. until this past June when Pianca sent her a letter stating he had withdrawn as property manager. Were you paying rent in the time between when the deed was recorded and when he sent you that letter saying he's no longer the property manager? I was paying him rent the whole time. Documents show the home was tied up in litigation while Suzo lived there. The previous owner's girlfriend tells me Pianca hired an attorney on their behalf. The attorney quit in May of 2022. Months later, a judge dismissed the court case, confirming the bank's ownership. Do you feel like he duped you? Oh, very much, very much. Financial records also show Suzo made other payments outside of the lease agreement, including spending over $2,500 to repair the well. I asked real estate attorney Robert Arabian to analyze Suzo's situation. Well, I think one of the issues in this case was the, the tenant was called upon to make certain repairs to the property. Typically, repairs would be done by the owner of the property uh, unless it's specified in, in a written agreement. Another red flag not in the agreement, Pianca began asking Suzo to deposit rent money straight into his bank account. It's called commingling of funds. When you are managing a property or you own a real estate uh, agency or it's an attorney that's doing closings, you're supposed to have a complete separate escrow account for that purpose, for collecting funds and dispersing funds. Pianca's already facing criminal charges following a separate I-team investigation that uncovered he was renting out a foreclosed property in Cranston he had no legal rights to. The things I've seen in this industry, I can't say that I'm surprised. If someone thinks they can get away with something, they try to do it. I tried to reach out to Pianca on several different occasions for a comment. Hello, this is Chris. Please leave a message. But never got through. I've also sent all of this information to investigators who are looking into the case. For the NBC Tonight team, I'm Tamara Sikarzik.